Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor and we are ready to continue exploring a uh, Pinath Gelling. So after taking care of the farm, in here we can continue our search for Igerna to the northeast. So that's where we're headed. Once again, we're really close to her location. So let's just make a run for it. <laughs> ah, there was a path leaving the farm. I see it now. Okay. Okay. Just let me see if I can grab a picture of the farm without the goblin killing me. <laughs> okay, and this is where we need to go next then. Stone, task item. Okay. Oh, an enemy camp. Cool. Do I need to? Yeah. You found a goblin camp. And we need to look for Igerna inside it. Seems Nurlagan. Well, for whatever reason, yeah. It was too easy. <laughs> we gotta... I would expect Igerna to be... Goblins are borrowing into the mountainside. Yeah. Yeah, that's why there were barely any goblins on my way here. A shredded pack lies here. Do we really need to go back to Ostarandir? I mean, we, we came all the way here just for this? Ah, oh, Jesus. For real? a little bit not worth it. I mean, if we gotta go back to... I know, that is in Ost Arndir. For a moment I thought that said... Well, I got confused for a moment. I was thinking we... we had to go back to EFL, but that's not the case, thank God. So that we don't have to backtrack now. But, I'm guessing, we'll get another quest in Ostarndir that will send us back here, because this goblin camp is too huge and too troublesome not to be dealt with. So, yeah. Uh, that will come as no surprise to anyone. Rich deposit. Cool. No red sea stones so far. I mean, seems I got lucky with the couple of stones I have gotten so far. would love to get a couple more, but yeah, it seems like it's <laughs> complicated. We 
we have here. You have discovered Wetcraft. Cool. I don't know if this would be inhabited by Gondorian people or if an enemy has taken this place. But no, people are still saving here. It's good to know. There doesn't seem to be any quest in this place yet. So I guess likewise, we also need to pick up the vector from Astar and Deer most likely. I mean, we're not that far. Yeah, these are the only quests I have in this place. Yeah. Oh, this town also looks really nice. Mm, the shorter water too. Looking forward to it. to enter town I think we'll also need to explore this one this looks to be as as big as Lant Kyrian maybe oh you are already getting quests in here awesome you have discovered Ost Arndir someone needs to do something you will not believe what I found I just got back from trying to gather firewood in the woods west of the city and you will not believe what I found cave claws They've burst through the mountainside and are infesting the forest. Someone needs to take care of those vermin before they multiply, before they come down into Ostrandir itself. Theric shudders in the thought and looks at you impatiently. Yeah, you don't need to say it twice. Let me just double check what else we have in here, because this once again looks to be a... Uh, multi-tiered place. Lady Nauriel's Keep. Lower level. Yeah, it seems we... To advance the, the epic, we need to come... It says, yeah, the northern entrance, which is not this one, but it's good to know that the keep has an exit to the lower portion of the city. There doesn't seem to be anything important here yet, but uh, that might help with navigating, with navigation overall. Oh. Not the Argonath per se, but Like, well, it's the same idea. It's just that getting a good picture of this two without any building getting in the way seems to be a little bit complicated. 
doing my best. You are here to help? Greetings, I am Torthril, a captain of Ostarndir. My friend here is Upohir, a warrior of Harad. You might wonder why Upohir is still in Gondor now that the war is over. So does he. I would like nothing more than to leave this land, Upohir says. Almost all of my fellows feel the same, but our captain refuses to give the order to withdraw. He and his lieutenants have delusions of winning glory through a pointless conflict. They do not care how many lives will be wasted. Thorthril looks up to you. We will de deal with this captain, but I need time to muster a force to march on Pahor Boha. In the meantime, Upohir's people continue to suffer, but you could help. <sighs> we must not take these days for granted. If we are to mount an assault of the camp, it would be good for us to know its defenses. Upohir has already drawn a detailed map for me, but you are more experienced with fighting alongside Gondorians. As someone familiar with our tactics and strengths, I would appreciate your perspective. Scout Pao Pahor Boha's entrances and report back to me on what you find. What would you require of me? While I was able to skip the camp and come here to seek aid, many of my fellows were not so fortunate. I would ask you to free them. Their imprisonment is unjust, but I also fear they would become hostages when Torthril marches on Pahor Boha. Have you a moment? Many of my people are too afraid of our captain to challenge him directly, but I am here on behalf of many others who wish to see all our people return home safely. When Torthril leads her people into battle, my allies can coordinate with her forces, and hopefully we can eliminate the captain with a little, as little bloodshed as possible. To this end, I would ask you to deliver word to my allies. Upo here provides you with detailed descriptions of his trusted allies. Deliver these letters to them so they can begin their preparations. That is to of the northwest, it seems. But I'm really eager to advance the story. Have a not and welcome. Welcome to Ostrandia, home of the Lady Noriel, Knight of the Green Hills. And Lord of Pinat Gelin. She awaits you inside the hall. Really looking forward to meeting Kirlwyn's daughter. A very impressive place too. Daira. Oh, she's upstairs, I guess. Is that so? Downstairs? <laughs> Where exactly? Ah, this is the lower level? God, this pla these places in Gondor are, are huge! I mean, I think this is the entrance that we saw earlier, right? You do not have permission to do that. Or this one. Yeah, these were the entrances we saw earlier. Once again, no permission to use that one. Okay, the place is huge, and once again, getting acquainted with the layout does help. Let's see if we can find the stairs. We missed them somehow. permission to use that. No permission to use that, but here we have the stairs anyway. Upper level. Oh, there is another exit even. Wow. A little terrace. Oh my god, I mean, once again, I'm a little bit sad that I can be here at daytime. You know I prefer the game at daytime and I would love to take a picture of this. But it seems that'll have to wait for another time. Hopefully we'll get another chance. Open the door. Thank you. Any more stairs? No. Finally, here we are. I am pleased to see you among the green hills, King Elo. 
Melissa and Queen Arwen. You and all your company are welcome to stay for as long as it pleases you. Know that there are dangers still in Pinat Gelim, for Haradrim fighters were transported here on Corsair ships during the war, and my knights have not yet found them all. Raiders from Umbar too have come up the rivers and small boats in small boats, and here we are people, but I see warriors among your company, and if they exercise caution they should fear little. I understand you have brought Golasgils here, or Golas, with you on this visit? My son Thorangil would be delighted to entertain a boy of his own years. Perhaps this man, Beryathan, will show Orgolas to my son's chambers. You will find them to the northeast, through the door on the right. Okay. Come here, Garlif. So. Northeast. Thorangil and Orgolas stand uncertainly together. Hello, so you are a warden? Are you a good one? Thorangil dismisses your answer with a casual wave and turns to Orgolas. I am going to train to be a knight when I'm old enough. It won't be very long from now, just a year or two. I have already been practicing my swordplay with sticks and with implements from the kitchens. Do you want to see? We can pretend to duel, and whoever wins gets to be the king of Outer Gondor. I wish your King Elazar will be very impressed with us. Back home in Lundkidion, Arhant often lets me climb the tower and look out over the sea and I have seen a great many Corsair ships going there, here and there across the waves. Once, when the sky was clear, I thought I could see all the way to Umbar, but he said that was impossible. But I have very sharp eyes, just like my father did, and he was a great mariner and fought bravely at the Black Gate, Gate of Mortor. I will be fine, Bryathan, you can go now. You decide to leave the boys to their game and see if Heaven has any work for you. So for that... Gotta go downstairs. This keep is very impressive. I mean, all the buildings so far in, in in the expansion and the cities too have been really impressive. You know, funny enough, my own warden has this very same scar and <laughs> hairstyle and beard and everything. And for a while he used an outfit very similar to this one. A weird sense of deja vu. This is a warden as well. A really weird sense of, of finding yourself. Ah, Bretha, you are looking for something there to do. There's always while... something that needs doing in and around Dostantia. Something to do while the king and queen speak with Lady Nauriel? I am glad to hear it, for there is always something to that needs doing in and around Dostan, dear. Can I ask you to deal with any of the foes that encroach upon our lands? There is no shortage of threats throughout many of the green hills. Yeah, you can consider it done. Ah, yeah, of course, the stable master. Days of peace have come at last to Gondor. And a milestone once again, just in case. And. Oh. Yeah, Lumar. This is a troublesome outcome indeed. Beryathan, you returned without the Gerna. I see. You hunt him the pack and a worried recognition passes across his face. This is a troublesome outcome indeed. Why would the Gerna leave her pack behind? The leather is shredded, but thankfully there is no blood to be found. Perhaps she made an escape. The pack you brought looks familiar to the one Igerna uses. Will you search through it to see if you can find anything of import? You can use the table here to do so. Okay, well, let's do it then. You should search the pack. You found a mostly clean shirt. Okay. What else? You found a crumpled note. Lumar. I was right. There are goblins in Peanut Gelin. They've been hounding me for hours, but I managed to slip their grasp thus far. I overheard one mentioning a farm with lots of four-legged spotted dinners walking around. I can only imagine that is referring to Barbary's poor cows. I must go first to Wimbury and see what fate has befallen Nordach. I will leave this message with... Wait, something draws near. The message abruptly cuts off. I fear again has been captured. 
officers are assaulted given the state of this bag. What did you find? find? I must stay here to receive reports from the rest of my scouts. We are working hard alongside the knights to ensure that the king's visit is untroubled. Will you go east to Wimbury and speak with Nordak? He may have seen or spoken with Igerna. It is most concerning that you came across so many goblins. Let us hope this is the only instance of them in our land, but I fear it is not so. Definitely not so. But before we continue looking for Igerna, uh, we gotta also scout the Horazrin camp. Oh, there is a bolt keeper and everything? Oh. Okay, now what? We gotta go to the western exit. say so far, uh, Peanut Galen flows way better than Amphalas in my opinion. I'm more engaged in, the, in this area. Nothing entirely wrong with Amphalas. Uh, the location especially are really cool, but Peanut Galen is definitely the, the better of the two. what I'm looking for. We have discovered the rusting crack. Okay, this is for the cave claws. Once again, I might regret this, but these are just cave claws. They usually are not that hard. I, I don't see what that should be different now, even with the increased difficulty and everything. Okay. That was close, but okay. Oh, it's so far away. I bought it. I thought it would be here, but well, as you can see, that's not the case. Oh, for God's sake. And there are plenty of cave claws in here. Three guys in here, hopefully. Ah! 
Cool. So with this we can go back. Let us do that. Oh, we're about to hit level 146. That's gonna be so cool. Yeah, I'm excited to get a lift. Uh, we will be packing quite a punch now. So I'm really looking forward to it. Once again. Uh, heights, skins, flaws. Perfect. So, let's go to Serik first. You did it! Oh, thank you so much! Those creatures make my stomach turn. Awesome! There we go. Level 146. Uh, we're gonna ignore the Yule Festival for the time being. I love the Yule Festival, uh, but I'm much rather level through the expansion right now. And as you can see here, once again, we are out leveling all these. Uh, this, all these is level 144. So I, I guess that means we should wait until we start getting 146 quests. I'm gonna equip the Stone of the Tortoise a little bit, a little bit more, and um, yeah, I mean, I am I am losing some physical master with this, but it's okay because I'm about to reforge anyway. Uh, so. Something that I always like to do is being able to compare the item that I'm about to get. Well, the item that I have with the item that I'm... Uh, the upgrade. Well, the previous version and the upgraded version. You know what I mean. It's an amazing upgrade. Item level 515. DPS went up for almost 100 points. As far as I know, my uh, traceries are still... should still be working because they have a max level of 150. And... As far as I know, uh, the Javelin should also see a similar... Um, oh God. A similar change. That's what we're gonna check. Oh, but what's happening to me today? So an increase in incoming healing, that's good. And the DPS values are the same. Awesome. Great. I feel so much more capable now. I am grateful for your service on behalf of Ost Andia and the Lady Norio. You have taken care of some foes of Pinath Galen? I am grateful for your service on behalf of Ost Andir and the Lady Norio. I see why the king has made you a part of his traveling company. Thorangil and Orgolas run up, shouting and bickering. What's going up now, boys? Do you often befriend liars, Beryathan, and encourage them to speak untruths? Because Orgolas here has told me something surprising and there is no way it could be true. He says that King Gelos are adventure with my grandsire Hirloin in Umbar many years ago and that he is the Thorangil for whom I was named. <sighs> Yeah, you, you, whenever you are with, with children, you cannot expect them to keep a secret, so, I mean, I'm talking from experience as well. Every time I ask my, my kid to keep a secret for me, that doesn't go well, so it's better not to, not to do that. He is just making it up. One look at a king tells me he could not be old enough to have been a fighting age when my grandsire Hirluin adventured in Umbar. To think Orgolas believes I would fall for such falsehoods, I tell you I am smarter than that. But it is true, I am not lying. I heard King Elisar say he was the very same Thorangil that adventured with Hirluin and Forlong in Umbar so many years ago. It is true. Tell him, Beryathan. I wish Thorangil would believe me. 
but he is going to take me to see the Wave Hunter where it sits at dock, and I do not want to see the ship my father left to me, so I do want to see the ship my father left to me. So, you tell the boys they should not go alone, but they pay you no mind. There is no stopping them, you should tell someone where they plan to go. Find item, okay, I'll do so, but let me check this first. Um, agility, okay, vitality, okay, physical mastery, physical mitigation. I would lose some critical rating, but not eager to... I, I'm not that mindful about critical rating right now. I mean, I will most likely um, replace that later anyway, and that will give me the time to use critical rating essences once again. So yeah, I'm not losing sleep over it. The kitchens, I believe, are downstairs, right? Feels like they should. No, these are not stairs I was looking for. Yeah, they're his. What? Orgolas has left the keep with Nauriel's son? Already? We only just arrived. How can he have already slipped my watch and disappeared? You tell Adam that the boys intended to see the Wave Hunter when it is docked, and he breathes a sigh of relief. That is not far from here to the east. Quickly now. Where exactly? I think I gotta remove this quest because it's confusing me. Yeah. Oh, we gotta... It's not here. Okay. Here we have the reflecting pool of West King's Gondor, I assume. Where exactly? Outside? Seems to be. Once again, let me just double check down, um, see if there is not an important NPC we might be missing here, a quest. Here we have the docks, but... Seems to be it. Maybe we'll need to come here at some point. Ah, the Wave Hunter, there it is. They're in the distance. set for us now. Well, there is a training hall in here and everything. Cool. Where is the reflecting pool? I... The grape... and grog. A tavern, but... Please, please move. Please move! For God's sake. I swear. Can we please... Yeah, the exit. Okay, perfect time to try out our new weapons. Well, not new, but... Reforge weapons. I'm not sure if you need to reforge to see the DPS changes, but it seems not. There was a slight difference in there. Slightly powerful. Didn't take as long. I'll make a belt from your skin. Yeah, right. You own what army? Do you know what would be really interesting? I think maybe we can try switching back to red. It's been a long while since... Uh, since we've been going 
doing red. I think we can try and do that. Pierce up at the rigging of the wave hunter. I told him not to do it, but he would not listen to me. Now he's halfway up the rigging of the wave hunter, even though I told him he should not climb it. It is my ship, Beriathan, given to me by my father, and Thorongil should do what I say and not what I forbid concerning it. I am not burdened with the duty of protecting Thorongil. Still, I do not want him to fall. But thank the valor it is not Orgolas out there. Lady Mara would cook me on a spit and serve me to her guests. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go for him. I'll, I'll, I'll go. High above you, Thorongil clings to the rigging of the Wave Hunter. So I'm guessing there is a way of... Getting up there. From the deck of the Wave Hunter, welcome beckon for Thorangil to come down. Okay. Why should I? Thorangil calls down to you. <laughs> Thorangil grudgingly descends to the deck of the Wave Hunter, and here I thought Orgolas was a, a little bit uh, misbehaved, let's say. You worry too much. I was not in any danger. But even if I was, I would not be afraid. I am no coward. I was named for the great hero Thorangil, sword brother of my grandsire Hirloin and mighty hero of Gondor. He warred with Umbar many years ago and I have heard from the men that are himself Ostrandir that even today the Umbarim tremble when they speak his name. I am going to follow in his footsteps as soon as I am old enough to become a knight of the Green Hills. And that is the truth, unlike whatever lies Sorgolas insists on telling. To think King Galazar might be the same man as Thorangil of old? Big slop. I'm tired of this ship anyway. Orgolas' mother sent the Wave Hunter here during the war, and it did not even see any fighting. What a waste that is. I suppose we should return to Ostan, dear. Thorangil and I are about the same age, but I think he is. I don't know. Orgolas kicks a small stone into the water and the ripples run up against the side of the Wave Hunter before dispersing. He is rather childish, isn't he? He says he will soon become a Knight of the Green Hills, but I think he is too rash and too unthinking and too... I don't know. A proper Knight should not be any of those things, Veryathan. He does not give a thought for any of his people and speaks only of his own glory. And I was telling the truth about King Elazar. I suppose we should return to Ostarn, dear. Yeah, I suppose you should. And uh, Diaram would see you... We would make sure to, to see you back. But for the time being, I, I think we can go back to... Well... Forward to, to the farm. Because that thing with the, with the goblins is also worrisome. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Blue line, of course, offers a lot more survivability, which has been great because we've been dealing a lot of uh, tough enemies. But well, red line is is just faster. So let's see if we can continue questing in red line for for a little bit. You have discovered Wimbury. Oh. Stay where you are. 
We don't need any more trouble here. You are sure, Nordak, that you're here to help and tell him that Lumar sent you. He must be looking for Gerna, huh? She is not here and I wish she was. She was. My fields have been infiltrated by enormous beetles. They are eating up my precious grapes. You get rid of them for me and I'll tell you what I know about the Gerna. Sure. Oh, and you know what's the best part of going back to Redline? That resounding challenge is a dot once again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these guys are level 140. They are no... No big deal. In any case. But still. We are missing how many? Two of them. Ended up pulling another one. There we go. Goodness you came when you did. My harvest would have been devastated for the entire year otherwise. Right, I can't breathe now and give you the answer you're looking for. It's been overrun by goblins. Can you believe it? This used to be a quiet place to live. Yorna came through here a few days ago and hasn't returned. She headed off to Rithersat, even though I tried to warn her that it's been overrun by goblins. Can you believe it? This used to be a quiet place to live. I can see in your eyes that you're determined to follow after her. Like Igerna, you seem capable, but, well, I thought she was also, and she has yet to return. Good luck, then. Keep your eyes open for Barbaris. That fool also refuses to fall back to some place safe, and it's probably lurking around his farm getting into trouble with the goblins. Oh. That's gonna send us yet to another farm. I still think, after completing this quest and finding Igerna, we should be sent back to Ost Andir to to tell Lumar what we found so I think I'm gonna continue with that uh, we are halfway through basically with the quests we're missing a lot of stuff I can and I can only account for about half of that that we're missing so I can see on the map some of the places we need to go that will most likely hold uh, locations for the deed, but not all of them. I'm getting a little bit worried. I, I don't want to make the same mistake I did in Amphalos and skip some places. I, I don't want to backtrack, of course. Nobody, nobody likes that, but we'll see how it goes. Come on. Another goblin. Yeah, thank you. And don't come back. Okay, a rich ore deposit. Cool, so I guess I'm gonna grab this too. Red Sea Stone, awesome! Finally, another one.
You have discovered Ritterstadt. Who are you? Have you come to help? Ah, Yerna. Yes, she came through here. She has since moved on to try to find the source of the goblins, leaving me here to defend my farm on my own. Well, truth be told, she directed me to flee to Ostrandir, but I shan't let my home be overrun. What do you say? Will you help me deal a blow to this scum? When you agree, Barbara's shoulders slump with relief. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. Now here's my plan. These goblins are here for my cows. I love these daft girls dearly, but they are far too unworried about our new guests. Go into the fields and give them a right good smack right on the ramp. The runoff away to safety. <laughs> okay, I... Some, some of my kinis were talking about this quest and they, they were having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> For this reason precisely, slap Brulen's rump. Brulen hops in surprise and gallops off. <laughs> uh... Yeah, they, they were having a lot of fun in King Chat with this. So... How many of these do we need? After a very judgmental side eye, she trots away. Elder Sir's Ramp. Okay, we, we gotta... Let him come, I'm not afraid. Okay, Alistair's ramp. With a stomp of her hoops, she charges off. them <laughs> yeah it has a, a long range that was a close call Riga's ramp she wishes swishes her tail irritably at you but runs off She ponders biting you, but then hustles away. Well, I'm glad she didn't. <laughs> you did it. I saw my girls running for the hills. They'll be safer out there for now, and I will remove myself to a stand there to ask for more hill. You have my thanks. <sighs> Egerna went north from here towards the mountains a few days ago. I hope she's safe and unharmed, but I fear the worst. You should head that way if you are still determined to find her. Yeah, I am. I, I, I really want to find her. I really do. Ideally, before the end of today's episode, but we'll see. I, I don't think this portion yeah doesn't connect to any map yet there what are we gonna find in here another goblin camp i assume yeah you can see it there
We have discovered the discovered crowd side. Another goblin camp. Yeah. Question is... Where is Igerna exactly? Oh, come on. Oh my god. I didn't expect to get an overseer on top of that. Christ. Yeah, it seems I gotta be careful or... Or switch back to blue. And I'm more inclined to switch him back to blue because... I don't know if I can survive all these guys at once. Or artifact chest. Oh, there's plenty of them in here. Maybe Umbar chest. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. another cave I, I need to enter maybe not sure come on come here this chest is too tempting for me to ignore I, I can't help it sorry <laughs> Barry soil. Let me grab it. Oh boy. Was close. Please be worth it. Uh. What about this one? I think I would be better off against this guy. I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you too, and it's called a spear in the face. Any sign of Igarina? I can see it. I can see her. The entrance to the cave. See it now. Oh, come on. Yet another cave. Run. Run for dear life.
For God's sake. Yeah, thank you. I mean, this, this cave looks big, but maybe it's not big as it looks. As it appears initially. But with so many goblins in here... Here, really. Good Lord, thank you. I'm running out of time. I didn't expect this to be. This camp to be so huge. And it goes on and on. Really? You saw me from there? to think I maybe should have stay, ah! stayed in blue. Ah! Oh, please, let me move. Kind of a hurry right now. Is this a pit? Well, there is an invisible wall there, so at least I cannot fall. Seems this is where the goblins are coming from, but that means I'll need to find Igerna. another place of this cave. Oh, come on. There are so many goblins, I, I really think at this point, even though our DPS would be lower, it would be faster for us to actually fight in blue. Man. This, this thing brings back memories of Goblin Town. Which is a place I usually love, but... I really wasn't expecting something like... something like this here. The worst thing is, I have no idea where Igerna is. Whoa! I don't think I switch back to blue, I guess. Where is she? For God's sake. Come on, how big is this place?
God's sake. Would you please already be done? And it figures. I mean, I, I would, of course, grab all the wrong turns on my search for the girl that should better be here. Should better be here. There she is. I hadn't seen this freaking cage. Gerna is locked in a cage. Yeah, I can tell. Happiest of greetings upon you. Happiest you of greetings. Have no idea how good it is to see a face that's not of goblin kind. I pray you're a friend and not foe. You explained that Lumar sent you and her shoulders lumped with relief, but then she winces at some pain in her side. Ugh. Excuse me for not rising. My injury pains me greatly. <laughs> if I could, I would hug you. But the door to my cage is locked tight. I have only seen it unlocked with keys the overseers have. Hunt them down until you find a key. An overseer. Any overseer. For God's sake, please, don't tell me I have already defeated them all because... Come on. Maybe outside the cave? I don't know. If... If I defeat an overseer outside, would that count? More importantly, is there an overseer outside? Because... Overseer, oh my god, thank you. First time I'm glad to see you. Goblin had a key, thank God. Freedom! Thank you, my new friend. Uh, I've been trapped in there for days. Much as I wish to be free of this dank place, we still have work to do. From what I'd overheard, this tribe of Ronkrum goblins recently tunneled to the surface, and if we don't send them back underground, they shall continue to spill over into Peanut Galen. These wretched louts are industrious but lazy creatures and they rely heavily on their black powder to blast open new tunnels in the mountainside. We can use this against them. Go and gather cases from around the cave and their camp outside. Then, delve deeper into the mountain until you find the places from whence they come. Between sealing this off and the punishment you shall be dealing out, they will be hesitant to continue their plans to surface. My wound is traveling but I think I can walk now. I shall meet you outside the cave when you are done. Yeah, that figures, of course, so... <sighs> These were those black holes we've been seeing. But I don't think we have enough time today to... find our way to those holes again. And we still need to find a black powder anyway, right? Well, there's one there. Somebody else kind of came here and, and did me the favor of dealing with the goblins? No. Oh, of course, it's them failing to load. We can grab this, these barrels without alerting any more goblins of our presence. That we would be great. Chest, Umber chest. Well, it seems the last barrel of black powder has to be, yeah, inside this cave somewhere. 
And as much as I'd like to continue, I think we have already taken more than enough time. It's, yeah, well past the hour. So the resolution for this one would have to wait until the next one. For the time being, though, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.